The Bible says that you can resist the Holy Spirit, and if you resist the Holy Spirit, there's no forgiveness. Because you see, it's the Holy Spirit that draws you to Christ. It is the Holy Spirit that convicts you of your need of Christ. And if you resist Him, keep resisting. Your heart getting harder and harder all the time. Then there's no more repentance. No more salvation. There's only one way of salvation, and that's Christ. A solemn thing to resist the Holy Spirit. You detect His voice, and yet you deliberately refuse. It's a dangerous thing to resist the Spirit. I'm asking you tonight to give in to the call of the Holy Spirit. I'm asking you to come by the hundreds and say, I want Christ in my life to be my Lord and my Savior, and I want to be sure of it. You may be a faithful in the church, but you really don't know Christ. Or you may not have any religion. You may be Catholic or Protestant or Jewish or no religion at all. I don't know who you are or what you are. But I would assume that the majority of the people here tonight are churchgoers. And I know thousands of churchgoers that need to come to Christ in a new way and have a new experience with the Lord Jesus Christ led by the Holy Spirit. Because you see, there's many people that need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I don't have time to go into what it means to be filled with the Holy Spirit or to be baptized with the Holy Spirit. All that's in my book because I'm here tonight to talk to you about what the Holy Spirit can do for you right tonight, right here and now.